Welcome to another episode of Chasing Perspectives. My name is Elijah and on this episode we're back at the edit desk. This is one of two places where we edit our work and on this episode I want to give you a little more context on how we edited this image. But before anything, let's roll that intro. We are back from the intro and back from Melrose Art. I just took my little guy to go check out the Christmas lights and also get some nice uh, video for you guys to check out and enjoy. Now we are heading right into Photoshop. The approach of this edit is not to fix anything wrong because our model is gorgeous and there's no doubt about that, but the approach here is to enhance. I want to enhance the features that are already there. Her lips, skin, eyes, eyebrows, and a little bit of her hairline. I just want to clean up the eye soles that stand out to make her natural beauty stand out even more. Let's get started. I start off the edit of this image by using the healing brush tool in Photoshop to clean up any pimples, bumps, blackheads, general unflattering lines, tattoos, major visible pores and laugh lines on her face. I'm removing all these things because they are distractions. I want all the attention when people are viewing this image to be on her face without any distractions. A big part of the editing process with this image in particular is posture correction and evening out her features. Using the liquify tool in Photoshop, I'm able to help her gain a softer posture as well as even out her lips to make them a bit more symmetrical. Keeping the same idea of not wanting any distractions, using a curves adjustment layer in Photoshop, I expose her chest and her hand to be the same as her face to tighten up the image a bit better. I don't want her chest being darker than her face, that will pull out the viewer out of the image a lot sooner. I smooth out the skin using a technique called frequency separation in Photoshop. This technique I not only use for smoothing skin, but I also use for tonal blending in the image to remove any blotches and uneven skin tones. The trick is to smooth out the skin in different areas, then blend it all back into the image so that it doesn't look unnatural and plastic. One last thing I did was play digital dentist and retouch her teeth. Her teeth are already white. She just had some plaque on the edges of her bottom teeth which I wanted to fix through color sampling and cloning. The last touch is to add a little contrast, touch up a few areas here and there, and we're done. And this is how the final image came out. Thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for the support. If you like this episode, please do leave a comment and also if you're watching this on YouTube, please do uh, subscribe, please do uh, turn on the post notification by clicking on that little bell. If you're watching this on Instagram, please do uh, follow, please do uh, like, please do leave a comment and also please do share this on your stories. My name is Elijah and I will see you again soon.